All right, what is going on, guys? Baller TV back, and today we are back with another Madden 20 rebuild. Today we are taking over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, looking at this Buccaneers team, I'm definitely noticing a lot of things. There's a lot of really good possessions on this team. Like Ali Marpet is really solid. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and I mean OJ Howard's good as well. And then like past that though, I mean it really falls off pretty hard. I mean. Dawson's okay, and so is Jensen, but Winston, I'm not going to keep him as quarterback of the future. The Buccaneers have already announced they plan to move on from him, so I don't see a point why I should have to stick with him, unless he, for some reason, will perform great this year, which I really doubt that he'll do. Uh, running backs are pretty weak. I like Ronald Jones, but I don't like him as a starter. I like him more as the backup, and the receivers pass our top two are not good as well, so definitely a lot of holes to fill on the offense. Then the defensive side of the ball is very similar. I like having uh, Vita Vea in the middle. Don Kansu is good, but he is, what, I mean, like 30 now? Yeah, 32. He's he's definitely getting up there, so it's going to be tough to justify keeping him the entire video. I do love Devin White, my boy from LSU. I definitely do love him in the middle. Levante David, even though he's already, what, I think like 29, and he probably won't progress much more. I'll still probably keep him for the vast majority of the video. Shaq Barrett obviously is the sack leader this year in real life, so I plan on keeping him. And then past that, we really just aren't that good. So definitely have a lot of holes to fill as well, especially in our secondary. Our secondary is absolutely horrendous. We have a good pass rush, but our secondary is god-awful. So we need to improve the secondary, need to improve the offensive line. The backfield needs redone as a whole. But past that, I do think we have a lot of solid players who I do plan on keeping on this team. So, that being said, it's already week 8. I don't plan on making any moves. I'm just keep the team the way it is for the rest of the season. I'm going to do that for the rest of the rebuilds for the rest of this series. So, every rebuild, I'm done making moves in this first year. So, the first season for me won't actually start till next season, if that makes sense. So, I'm going to start simulating. I think we're like 3-4 and four right now or something like that. And I don't really care if we make the playoffs. I almost would prefer that we wouldn't, so I'd get a better draft pick. And then, obviously, you guys will see who I'm going after in free agency, the draft, and then we'll get into our first season. Okay, so this is a pretty simple trade, obviously. We traded the second pick and my backup left in for the first pick to the Dolphins because I want to. Uh, that being said, let's take a look at who we're going after in free agency real quick. I think we hopefully, hopefully we'll get all of them. Uh, Kareem Hunt, I'm not going to have a pick to draft a running back, and I need one, so I need to get Kareem Hunt. I'm going to switch to a power scheme as well, I think, so... He'll fit in perfect there. Ronald Darby, I need a number one corner. I do plan on maybe competing next year if we are talented enough. So he'll be a big piece of the defense. Uh, obviously, we need the right guards. We got that whole field there. Shaq Lawson to be the new right end after Sue left. Emmanuel Ogba to be the new left end because our other one sucked. I got a free safety because, you know, this guy really isn't going to cut the good do the job. Got another wide receiver for the slot. That's what I need for two. A couple deep tackles. A right tackle, a fullback, and then another middle linebacker. So, I definitely think this team will be improved after all of these signings. And then hopefully in the draft, I need a quarterback and a left tackle. And then after that, we'll just be filling need as much as we possibly can. But I don't have a lot of um, assets to trade. So, I'm kind of stuck with the picks I'm at right now. So, I'm just hoping that I can get the guys I need to with those picks. And that we can capitalize on this draft. And maybe be a playoff team as soon as next year. There's definitely a lot of talent on this team. I think it'll come down to two attack of a Logie though. And, you know, just seeing how these free agents impact the team. Okay, go ahead and insert your Thanos meme here. We could not live with our failures, so we got brought right back to the Don Kong Sioux. We could not complete the Shaq duo of Shaq Lawson and Shaq Barrett, so we're bringing back Sue. Hopefully, this will be our last signing of free agency, and then after that, this is going to be um, the draft. So you guys will be seeing who we get. Hopefully, we can get some good players, and we can make this team a lot better. All right, first pick in the words of Justin Bieber. This is a no-brainer. Two attack of a Logie. Definitely my quarterback of the future. What overall is he, 82? 79, okay. Okay, ranked number two in true talent. But that's totally fine. He's going to be a beast. He has tons of weapons on this team already. We just need to give him a left tackle, and this should be a very fun year. Okay, there's definitely a lot of guys I would like to draft at this pick, but I need to tackle desperately. This guy right here, he might be the right tackle, he might be the left. We're going to see how it works out. One of my right tackles, either the one I decide or him, my left tackle this year. He should be a pretty solid talent. He was mid-first rounder, 76 overall. Okay, I'm probably going to put him at left. We'll see what happens, but he, either way, is going to be a huge, huge, huge part of our offense this year. All right, and then with the third round pick, I am taking this uh, pass pressure from LSU. 
I know I already have Shaq, but he's an early second round or mid second round talent. In the third round, I'll definitely take it. And it never hurts to add more pass rusher, just some more people you can bring off of the edge. So let's see what overall we're getting out of him. 74 hidden potential, absolutely will take that at my uh, current pick. Okay, looking at this roster, I would absolutely say it looks much better than it did last year. Definitely the overalls have increased. Every position nearly has increased. Uh, the right tackle will be playing left tackle this year, but it is not a problem. We will fix that next season, have him back at right, and we'll have a good left tackle there. Uh, Kareem Hunt, very excited to see what we can do with Tua this year. Tua's got a lot of weapons. I'm excited to see how he uses them. I definitely need to add another wide receiver. I will do that off camera right after I do this little preview here. The tight end room looks great. Looking at the defensive side of the ball, we definitely fix the secondary up a lot better. Strong safety is still a weakness, but we do have a young player there, and I'm hoping that he can progress a little bit. Uh, I want to go with Harney Greaves over you. Secondary-wise, I mean, it's not great, like I said, but it definitely is better better the linebackers are looking real nice and then the defensive line also looks the best it has all video long so i can see this team finishing like eight and eight or so i don't think we're great i don't think we're bad we still have a lot of holes to fix but i don't want to trade my draft capital for that so i think what i'm going to do is just roll with this team and then look to address the issues we have next off season i don't want to trade all my picks and not have any left so that's the plan. I'm going to start simulating. If I make any trades, I will see you guys there. But if not, I will see you at the end of the first season. All right, so taking a look at our team here, um, I definitely say that, you know, we went 7-9 this year. I'd say left tackle obviously needs to be improved if we're going to be better on offense. Two had a pretty good year, so did Kareem Hunt, so did Mike Evans. Godwin needs to step it up, and uh, Howard had a pretty good year as well. But I'd say if we're going to improve the offense, it needs to come from left tackle, and then maybe center, right tackle will progress over time. And then maybe getting like a, like a solid number three wide receiver, someone who's going to be a long-term guy could help as well. Defensively, we are pretty solid inside of the ball as well. I love our middle linebacker duo. Uh, I like Shaq Barrett. I like Ronald Darby, Vita Vey. I like our whole defensive line, really, even though Daniels is on a one-year deal. Where we need to improve, I think I want to improve left outside linebacker, get a better power rusher who accumulates maybe double-digit sacks. Uh, obviously, the safeties are not up to par, and we need to get a number two corner as well. Or even a number one corner, move Darby to number two corner. That would be perfectly fine. Uh, definitely, I think if we're going to improve, it needs to be on the defensive side of the ball the most. Our offense is an 87, our defense is an 83. But um, I am not sure how it's all going to happen. So I'm going to hop into free agency and then the draft, obviously. You guys will see everything. So I'm going to hop into it right now, and I will see you guys there. Okay, well, we only are making four moves this free agency, but they're going to be four very big ones. So, obviously, Keanu Neal, you all know who he is. Absolute stud. Will tremendously improve our secondary. It's going to be the player that puts us over the top and into playoffs this season. Bringing back Mike Daniels because he's the only, yeah, really honestly the only here on stopping defensive end at the right end spot for us. Uh, Zach Cunningham. Very talented middle linebacker. He's young, star potential, develops much better than his other options. So I'm going to bring him in to be the number two to my boy Devin White. And then just getting a backup defense of tackle for Vita Vea. Uh, every other need we have, like cornerback, like I talked about, and outside linebacker, anything like that, will be filled through the draft or not filled at all because there's no other really options for us here. These are all the best options with my money. So hopefully this can help us get to the playoffs. Okay, the more I just I look at the team, the more I realize that we have a lot of needs we need to fill with good players in this draft. So I'm trading away a backup outside linebacker and a fourth round pick for the Seahawks late first rounder. And just like that, I have the second overall pick in this year's draft. Okay, here's the second overall pick. I'm at a very tough crossroads, which I've already answered in my head, but still, this took me a minute. Do I go with a lockdown corner, or do I go with a solid, very, very solid free safety? I don't need a corner as bad. My free safety is absolutely terrible. And if the Cowboys mess up bad enough, and they don't take this corner with the next pick, I'm going to trade up for four and try to get them. But I've got to go with Caden Stearns right here with the second overall pick. I don't know if it'll be the second highest talented player but he fits the what we need so much he's a great player good combine i mean what is going to be an 81 overall third highest ranked player in the draft the right scheme is gonna be a superstar x factor by his second season probably i just had to do it 
Okay, so before I get started explaining this pick real quick, if you do hear the people yelling in the room next to me, I apologize. I cannot help how dumb they are. Unfortunately, I've had pneumonia for the past week, and I've got to get back to work, I've got to get back to recording videos, so I'm just trying to talk over it. So, right here, I'm partnering with Harden Greaves, and a fourth-round pick for the 14th pick, because, for one, his contract is getting bigger and bigger by the year, and for two, because of the fact that I can still salvage a corner in this draft. First of all, I'm taking Austin Jackson. Thank God he's still here. He will m most likely, for sure, be our starting left tackle this year, 78 overall. Second best thing he does is pass pro, which is perfect. I know he's not the most talented player, but huge, huge need for us. And then with the next pick, they took Campbell, but there should still be another solid corner. Yeah, Trey De uh, Dean is still here as well. Not as talented, I don't think, as Campbell. Yeah, he's not as good, but he still will probably become our number two overall corner in the system. Ah, oh, man, I wish I could have got the other corner, but okay, you know what, I messed up. But still, at the end of the day, I think it will help out a lot in our secondary. With my last pick in the first round, I'll be taking a wide receiver to be our third receiver. With 78 overall, 14th in true value at 31, you cannot complain there. He should be a very good third receiver for us, and hopefully he can help open up Tua a little bit this year and get our offense rolling, because it was kind of an issue last year, how middle of the pack we were. And I think adding another guy like this could really help us become a playoff team. I do not know how this guy always makes it here, but in the second round, I'll be taking this tight end to be my backup to OJ Howard. He becomes an absolute beast, um, and just another weapon for us to have on the team. I don't know why he's still here. He is literally so good, but he'll be the number two tight end, and that means I'll probably be trading away Cameron Braid, because his contract is kind of huge, and he's getting kind of old. Alright, looking at our team for the start of year two, I've got to be honest, I really like what I see a lot. I think the offensive line... Looks very nice up here from left to right tackle. I think we have a very solid offensive line. Our tight end room is great. Wide receivers are looking very solid at one and two. And even three is pretty solid as well. Running backs with Kareem Hunt and Ronald Jones. We should have a pretty good one-two punch there. Two at quarterback obviously will be amazing this year. At least I hope so. They've been drafted the fullback. So, you know, you get what you ask for there. And the linebackers, they are young. Wait. Wait, why is he starting now? Okay, I'll fix that later. They're young, but they're good. I don't know why he's starting. But anyway, we have, you know, obviously these four across the board. All very four talented players, even though I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be starting. Safeties, I love our safeties. Keanu Neal's an absolute beast, and this Stearns kid is going to be an absolute stud as well. We still have Darby as the number one corner, and we did not really improve the number two, but we did improve the cornerback room overall by drafting someone and getting rid of Vernon Hargreaves' contract. Defensive line still the same. Vita Vea, Mike Daniels is back, and Emmanuel Ogba. So definitely the defense got younger, except for Mike Daniels. So hopefully the youth will develop and we can become a better unit as a whole. We definitely brought a lot of young talent in. It's just time to see if it'll um, develop and take off for us and do what we need to do. So that being said, guys, this team is probably not a complete product. I'm probably going to make some trades throughout the season, so you will see those. But if I don't for some reason, I will see you at the end of year two where hopefully, please, I've had pneumonia for over a week. Just give me a playoff appearance, please. Hopefully we can get in the playoffs. We will see, and I will see you guys there. I don't know how. After being 8-5, and five, I was sure that we were blowing it when we were 8 and, uh, what would it be, 7. But, we win our last game and get in at 9-7. and seven. We get in just over the two 8-8 eight and eight teams in our division. And here we are facing the New York Giants. So, I'll show you some stats real quick, I guess, of our team. Just show you the good real quick. I don't want to take too much time on it. Tua had 25 touchdowns at one point. He was number one in the NFL, and obviously he fell off. Um, Kareem Hunt had a very good year rushing the ball, receiving the ball. No one had a crazy good year. Everyone had a lot of touchdowns, but we did not throw a lot of yards. Defensively, I know already what I'm going to do to fix the defense. I hope it'll work in the offseason. And then, yeah, there's the interception numbers as well. So I'm mostly disappointed in Tua because the defense, I know how I'm going to fix it, but Tua, I don't know what I'm going to do there. He needs to start throwing the ball better. So we're facing off against the Giants. So let's go ahead and take a look at their roster. I'm sure they still have Saquon. I'm not sure their quarterback is. Yeah, Saquon Barkley obviously is an animal. Evan Ingram, Kevin Zietler, Jabril still, Rosas. Yeah, they still have a pretty 
pretty solid young court. They have Jordan Love from Utah State as quarterback. That's interesting. Dexter Lawrence is still there. Chris Conley. I think this is a team we're rebuilding next. So this could be a nice look into the future of what we should do for this team to get into the playoffs. Uh, Teddy Two Gloves was their quarterback for a year, it looks like. So here we go. I'm not too worried about this year. I still have next year. But if we win, we win. That would be absolutely great. So week one, we do win. 30-15. to 15. Okay. Fair enough. So now we're facing off against, I think it's at the Chicago Bears. I'm not totally sure. I'm still upgrading, unfortunately, because Madden is super slow. Um, yeah, we're facing off against the Chicago Bears. Let's go ahead and see who the Bears have. Obviously, I'm sure their defense is still low with the guys like Khalil Mack, Roquan Smith, um, uh, what's his name, Jackson, Eddie Jackson. Yeah, and there they are, all at the top of your screen. Khalil Mack, Eddie Jackson, Kyle Fuller's there, Allen Robinson, Roquan Smith, Eddie Goldman. It's a lot of defensive players. Akeem Hicks, a lot, a lot of defensive players. Now, the question is, okay, so Dylan McCaffrey is their quarterback, not Mitch Trubisky. Very interesting. That could be a good foresight into the future. Dave Montgomery is actually the backup to Cohen in this. This is a solid team. Ooh, Reggie, my boy Reggie Corbin. I love Reggie Corbin. This is a very, very solid team. Riley Ridley as well. I guess I drafted him. I don't think we'll beat this team. I don't really care, but I really think we will beat this team. So I'm going to go ahead and send the week, see what happens. But I really don't think we win this week. We do win this week. 27-14. Interesting. And now we're facing off against my favorite team in the NFL, the Dallas Cowboys. And in Madden, the Cowboys are always, I'm honestly be serious, like they're always overrated. They're all, I love the Cowboys, but they are always overrated in Madden. So they are 12-4 and four this year. Obviously, we're going to know they still have Zeke, the offensive line, Demarcus Lawrence, Dak Prescott, Amari Cooper. We know all of those guys. There's Zach Martin, Zeke, Tyron Smith, Byron Jones, Frederick, LVE, Demarcus Lawrence, Tank, Jalen Smith, Cheeto, Dak. Wow. Yeah, we are not winning this game. And I don't think we'll beat this team next year either, unless they run out of cal um, salary or cap space, I should say. This is a very, very good team. This is a very, very, very good team. I do not see us having a chance at all this week against the Cowboys. And sure enough, they do beat us 15. I would say there's absolutely no way. That team is literally loaded on offense, and our defense is subpar. Let's see who won. Uh, yeah, Zeke wins one player. Jeez. 232 rushing yards, two touchdowns on 16 attempts. Oh, my God. Wow. That Cowboys team is good, but... Hey, we made it to the conference championship in year two. That's really good. I have a few moves in mind I would love to make before year three. And who knows? Maybe we can be in the Super Bowl for year three. You never know. All of the additions I want to add are through the draft. So we are making one move in free agency. And this is the guy we're going after. Just trust me. I have a really good plan. Okay, again, guys. It's all part of the plan. Just sit back and let me work i have a great vision that is going to make our team a super bowl contender next season okay and the last piece of my vision has been acquired i gave up a lot of capital a lot of players but this is the final season of the video and i think that we are geared up to have the best season yet hopefully we'll be a super bowl contender and win more than nine games finally with the three players i'm about to add i think we can do just that okay first pick simple no brainer nolan smith moving to the left side linebacker as a power rusher i'm projecting somewhere between 10 and 15 sacks for him next year especially walking into a defense that's so ready to have him on the team he's probably what the most talented player in this draft third most talented dominant power rusher Superstar potential. Very, very excited to have him on our team. The second pick is another no-brainer. Derek Stingley is the probably most talented player on the board and one of the most young, talented corners this generation has seen. He's an absolute beast as a freshman in real life, and he's going to dominate as the number one corner on this team. I'm hoping that he will come out and be an absolute beast. But overall, is he going to be out of the gates 82, the most talented player in this draft, and we are more than happy to have him on our team. And then at 10, possibly the most important guy on the board left for us is a center. He's the best center in this draft by far. And I really desperately need him on my line. 
He's going to be better than Jensen was. What overall did we get already? 77. Power fits the scheme. Honestly, that's perfectly fine with me. I, I just needed the center, and I'm sure this guy will be more than enough for what we're asking for. Alright guys, this is it. This is the team for the third and final season. Offensively, I liked where we were at. I didn't really bring in much differently. We just progressed some of the guys and changed our center for the better. Defensively, we need more of a pass rush. So I brought in Nolan Smith, moved Shaquille Barrett back. Okay, I'm going to flip these guys around here in a second, but Shaquille Barrett should be at left, or right, and Nolan Smith should be at left. Madden always flips them for whatever reason. That makes sense to me. But we finally have guys back in the right positions, and I hope to get close to 20 sacks with just these two this year. Uh, Stingley's the best corner we've had all video, and he definitely will be by the end of the video. And then J.J. Watt brings a whole new element to the defensive line. I think our defense is completely re revamped. We are reloaded. Our team is the best it's been, and I'm really confident, guys. This should be, if you know what, if we don't make the playoffs this year, it's not on me, it's on Madden. This is a good team. That should make the playoffs. I'm going to start simulating, and if we start sucking, I'm going to get upset because we shouldn't. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys at the end of the year where we should, hopefully, be in the playoffs. Okay, guys, so before we get started with this last playoffs, I have two things to say. For one, Madden is running extremely slow right now, so if something's not loading, I can't help it. And for two, everyone on my floor is being a bunch of crazy animals right now, so if you hear them yelling in the background, I can't help that either. All right, here we go. So, team did exceptionally well this year. I'm not totally sure um, what the exact stats were. Okay, Tua was first in touchdowns with eight picks. That's incredible. It doesn't have many yards. So I'm assuming, yep, Kareem Hunt had a ton of yards and a lot of touchdowns. That is a very nice season for him. Mike Evans had a lot of touchdowns. Okay, this guy had a lot of touchdowns. And so did O.J. Howard. Just not a lot of yards. I don't get it, but whatever. We're going to roll with it. Sacks. Let's see how that went. Okay, JJ had 10, Vita Vea 7 and a half, Shaq Barrett 7, 6. Okay, no one's but didn't have as many as I wanted them to, but so many other guys got so many more sacks. I'm totally fine with it. How did interceptions look for us? Stingley had 5. Jesus. That is a, that's probably like a record for a rookie uh, interceptions. 5 is probably a record. So we're facing off against the Bears first round. Now... We did play the Bears in the regular season, and we actually did beat them. So that makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, they are 9-6-1, so they obviously are not as talented as us. They still have Mac, Eddie Jackson. This is the same. Did we play them in the playoffs last year? I feel like we totally did. They added Xavier Thomas, which is a very good pickup. Uh, yeah, we definitely played this team in the playoffs, and they've gotten older. They've added some good players, but they've definitely gotten older. You know what? I like our odds. I don't know if we're going to win, but I think we're going to win. Will Madden screw me over? Okay. We sneak by, and now we're facing off against those freaking Cowboys once again. And them stupid... I love the Cowboys in real life, but I told you last year, I don't know if we can beat them this year. I really don't. And here we are again. Let's see if they add anybody or ch their uh, worst record. That's promising. Okay, Zach Martin's a 99 now. Uh, Zeke is a 98. Byron Jones is a 95. The offensive line's amazing. They still have Jalen Smith. They lost Leighton Van Der Esch. They usually do. Dak's a little better. They added a new superstar tight end. That's great. Um, yeah, this team's really good. This team is really, really good. Okay, well, it's time to see what we're made of. Can we get to the Super Bowl? Have we got to the Super Bowl yet in these rebuilds? Maybe the first two, but since then, can we get to the Super Bowl? Please. 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 Yes! Yes, we're going to the Super Bowl. Sorry to pick some stuff in my room. We're facing off against Indianapolis Colts. Let's go. We actually made a Super Bowl. Okay. I would get more excited, but I really have pneumonia still, and I don't feel good. Okay. Who could the Colts have? Who... Would they still have? I think they would still have the guys like Jacoby Brissett. And this is what I'm talking about. It's going to take me forever to advance this week. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video. This ever, Whenever this loads, I'll be back. So, of course, it loaded as soon as I said that. But who cares? We're in the Super Bowl facing off against the Indianapolis Colts. I don't know who they have, really. Um, Quentin Nelson. Okay. Absolute beast. Darius Leonard. Absolute beast. Marlon Mack. Malik Hooker, Braden Smith, T.Y., Ebron. Who's our quarterback? Okay, it is Jacoby Brissett still. 
Uh, okay, uh, okay. Rocky soon still like his name. Um, yeah, Th this team is something else. This team is definitely something else. So it's been a while, but we are gonna go ahead and hop in the Super Bowl and go uh, play by play, I guess, or change the possession. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we're gonna go ahead and hop in, and we're gonna watch this team cast style and see who can come away with a victory. Please let us win one. It's been a long time. I would love to get a Super Bowl win in this video. Okay, so I messed up the simulations, and they just scored, I think. But um, I put on 8-minute quarters, so yeah, I forgot about that. But uh, here we go. Okay, they're up 3 nothing. I'm just going to go quarter to quarter here. Uh, can we come back and get some points on the board? We do. We're up 7-3. to three. We get the ball back. They get the ball back 10-7. 14-10. They score before half, and that is not what we wanted to see right there. Can we put points up? 24-14. This game is slipping away from us. we got to score a touchdown soon. This is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. We need to put a touchdown on the board quick or this is going to be out of hand. Okay, we get the ball back. They punt it to us. or pin deep. But we got to score this drive. we got to put something on the board here. Okay, a field goal is better than nothing. So here we go. Can we get a stop? We've got to get a stop right here. And we don't. That's the game. <sighs> we just uh, we just lost the Super Bowl. You know, I gotta say, I'm disappointed, but how can I be that disappointed? I mean, Madden finally did me right. It finally took one of my teams and got them to at least where they deserve to go. You know what? We lost the Super Bowl, but we got there. And that is really... Uh, nice for me to see that this game still actually works because I've made so many unbelievable teams I can't get that far and man this was a good one this was a really good one I'm really proud of this team this team uh yeah it's tough this is a very tough team uh, a lot of really good players this team will be good in the future as well everybody who's really a foundational piece of this team is young not many contracts expire this year it could be at least a one more year team but we're in it here. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It was kind of a pain for me to make because I had uh, started it last week and then I've been gone from campus all week long with freaking pneumonia. But now I'm back and I wanted to make a rebuild as soon as I got back. I wanted to keep going. That's all I got to think about while I was sick. So, you know, if you're enjoying, please like and subscribe. Uh, the next rebuild up will be the New York Giants. And I'm not sure what direction I'm going to go with that. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in that video.